for us since the 25th of May, uh, our life as a data protection authority is, uh, has and is changing uh, immeasurably. Um, it, it formalizes, in a sense, a role we had uh, to some degree before the GDPR, but now it's, and I'll go on to exp give you that kind of overview again of what the one-stop shop process is. It puts us in the, in the vanguard uh, in cooperation with every other data, what we call concerned data protection authorities in, in, in supervising the application of data protection law of, of companies which avail of the one-stop sh stop shop. So we, heretofore, under the 1995 directive, each data protection authority had um, exclusive jurisdiction in the conduct of their, their investigative enforcement activities. The GDPR cooperation and consistency mechanisms have really fundamentally changed that, that previous regime. So just to recap on what cross-border processing is, uh, under Article 423 uh, of the GDPR, it involves either two scenarios. The first is where a controller or processor is established in more than one member state, and processing takes place in the context of the activities of more than one such establishment. So there's a, a number, a company that has a number of entities across multiple jurisdictions. The second is where the data controller or processor is established in just one member state, but the processing substantially affects or is likely to substantially affect data subjects in more than one uh, member state. So there's the kind of two mm -hmm. scenarios in which the, the whole concept of cross-border processing comes into play. For organizations involved in cross-border processing, the concept of the lead supervisory authority under Article 56.1 has been introduced, and that's to determine which data protection authority has the primary responsibility uh, or the sole interlocutor for dealing with a complaint or an issue that has risen in relation to cross-border processing. Um, it means that uh, the one-stop shop mechanism means that the data protection authority in the member state where the multinational organization has its main establishment will act as the lead supervisory authority, or as I say, the, the single interlocutor, making that multinational subject to one decision, one appeal, and one fine if we get to that position or that point, rather than multiple actions on the part of several data protection authorities. So it really was a streamlining and it's of what we had before, and to build in a, a consistency into uh, the application, the supervision of data, and, and enforcement of data protection law. So that, that's really the, the entire concept. I mentioned at the start, Ireland is particularly in focus for the operation, and, and, and we are under an international microscope at the moment as to how we are going to operate the one-stop shop. And that's because uh, we have, um, as I say, um, uh, many multinationals, the, some of the world's largest companies have the European headquarters in Ireland, we have uh, organizations such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Apple, Dropbox, Airbnb, Oath, formerly Yahoo, Microsoft, and Google. Uh, <laughs> and we're, we're very pleased to have them all. But if, you know, pause for a second and just think, what does that mean? They are the biggest data processors in the globe, processing the data of, uh, for, for, and, and want to say, you know, for, for legitimate reasons, reasons in, in Okay, there'll be differences, uh, no doubt, and there'll be areas of focus in the future, but you know, they are businesses, they're providing services, and they're providing, they're processing data of hundreds of millions of European citizens, and we in the Irish Data Protection Commission are at the vanguard of ensuring that what's being done, in for legitimate per business reasons, is in compliance with uh, the data, data protection law. Uh, it's a burdensome position, um, because uh, in addition to being the single interlocutor, we have the obligation to coordinate uh, our work and to try and achieve consensus positions for a decision in any given investigation which falls. So, so I mean, we have to try and work with other data protection authorities. Um, under Article 60 of the GDPR, we must consult with and take into account the views of other data protection authorities who are concerned with the issue at hand when, when we're drafting a decision where we've undertaken an investigation. If you look at some of the larger companies who are operating across the European Union, uh, in effect, all data protection authorities are concerned, DPAs. So we have, we'll have, 20, at the moment, 27 other data protection authorities with whom we must engage. 